Uh, the truth is, uh, all the laws of physics that describe how things move are, are reversible in this sense. If you made a movie of it and you played it backwards, it's not violating any, that picture isn't violating any laws of physics. It might be very improbable because we very seldom see an egg that you dropped onto the floor suddenly jump up, get into the shell, the shell closes in its back in an egg. No, once you break the egg, it's broken. But the laws of physics say anything could go backwards. It's just unlikely, but it doesn't violate the laws. Okay, so that gives me reason to believe that, you know, underlying everything could be some microscopic cellular automata that was certainly reversible. And back in the, when I first had that idea, it wasn't, no one had ever known about a cellular automata that was reversible. So <laughs> one of my first tasks was to invent one. And that was pretty easy, actually. Just no one ever worried about it before. Okay, so what I would like to suggest is that if you imagine a world where you have uh, quantized space and time, and where so and everything in it is an integer in a sense is quantized, not like continuous variables. You can emulate everything we know in physics. It's just that it's a, you know, just like um, when you have water, it looks continuous to us, but then we discover it's made out of atoms. So if we have space and time and somewhere it's not continuous anymore, but it's made up of something like a cellular automata. That's just as reasonable as atomic theory in some sense. And uh, so while our intuition sort of, uh, these ideas don't go along with our intuition, uh, our intuition has been wrong often enough. So this is basically what I work on, is trying to figure out how physics could arise from uh, cellular automata and be where you have discrete space and time and so on. And uh, basically, uh, that kind of investigation hasn't run into any real problems in that we've been able to figure out ways that all the things we see uh, make sense this way or the conventional way. So that's pretty much what I have to say, and if there's any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Any? Mm -hmm.